Hey everyone, so it's been a while since I posted any content. I do want to cover what I did to do the custom rack and pinion and steering that I put into the car. It was a lot of work, but uh, I think it's worth watching. So let's get started. All right, so in order to get the new steering system installed, I did have to reposition the hole within the firewall where the steering mechanism has to run through that attaches to the rack and pinion. So we gotta work on the uh, rack and pinion. I gotta customize the uh, steering column and all the bits and pieces that go along with it. So in order to do that, I have to take this nice, column steering column thingy that I got from my friends over at Midwest Bayless because I didn't have a spare one and I gotta take this piece here and I gotta somehow modify that to work with the uh, the rack and pinion I got so it's gonna take some customization some welding and, and whatnot so let's uh let's jump into that let me uh let me take this bad boy off what am I gonna need I'm gonna need you I'm gonna need my power I'm gonna need a 13 I'll probably need a a uh, wrench too but yeah let's grab a 13 wrench i think i got one here somewhere i was sitting right down in here in the car because that's where everything ends up being when you're working on a car so we gotta get this thing off i gotta modify this i'm gonna have to cut it do some mocking upping ah look at that the spring okay there we go interesting that's interesting because I've seen a lot of these where the spring isn't on there. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Make sure I save that spring. Okay, so what we got to do is we got to cut this thing here somewhere in the middle so I can custom fit like a, a joint, like a U-joint like this on one end, right? Cut it here because so this will fit to the steering column for the 124. This thing I can use universally. All right, let's get going here. All right, let me do some a couple tack welds and then let's get that moving along. So the other thing I gotta do is I have to take a, a bushing fitting or whatever and I need to basically weld it right onto there, right? So I'm gonna give this thing a spacer, weld that on and we should be good to go. Okay, finished product. So the idea there then is gonna be this is going to screw, go right up in there. Actually, you know what? There's a certain, a certain path pattern that you have to put it on and make it fit just right. I think this is it right here. We wanna get it in there. want that area this is actually right about right about there is where it's going to end up sitting there we go cool nice okay so we got the rack and pinion installed and i have it attached to the steering arms that are in the car so i'm testing to see with a throw or distance i get on the turn of the wheels and then um, if i have any resistance or drag one thing however as i found is that the steering arms themselves are too short so what that means is they just sit too high when there's any weight on the car. So when the car is actually on the ground, they just sit too high. So what that means is if 
I have weight in the car, so suspension is basically compressed. The points at the ball joint that attaches to the rack and pinion is too high up. So driving the car, of course, that would create all kinds of problems. Um, bump steer would be one of them, and it would be something I couldn't control. Whereas at the time I install everything, I'm not going to have a really low uh, suspension. But if I did want to lower it, I'm kind of I'm going to be stuck. All right, so here is another update. I'll show some pictures here in a second. But I had some modifications done. These are the steering arms that attach to the inside spindle of the wheel. So it would be right up inside there. Essentially what I did was I bent these to drop them down about two and a quarter to two and three eighths of an inch height. And the idea there was is to ensure that I had enough space to make up the distance I was losing. Okay, so they are all attached. You can see the ball joints attached there. You can tell with compression, or I guess with full load, um, I still have a little bit of space to drop. So I could potentially even lower the car a little bit more and still have um, just a wee bit. You can tell it's just. It's not quite parallel to the ground. Gives me a little bit of space if I was wanted to drop the, the, the chassis a little bit lower. Now, the back of the car is still up in the air, but I think we're at enough compression in the front to really give us an idea of how it looks. The one thing that you can't really see from this angle is because we sh I shortened the steering arm by basically putting more of a bend in the arm itself to lower the point at which the ball joint attaches, I inadvertently pushed that point, the plane forward. So now the rack actually points just a hair forward from the pivot point, right? To that point right there. It's a mild angle forward. Anyway. All right. So we are making progress. More to come.